Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Let's head in, check out last night's sleep research, complete out new sleep style discovery week, and head into a new week. Awesome. A full 100 sleep score. A little bit less than yesterday. Oh my. Almost no slumbering. But a good chunk of snoozing. Just moving in and out between dozing and snoozing. Actually, that isn't surprising. I had some particularly not so nice dreams. So it makes. it stands to reason that my sleep is a little less deep and a little more jarring. Ending the week with 114 million drowsy power. We've got two four stars today. Well, that's exciting. Let's see who shows up. Oh, all right. That's a good way to cap off the week. We have got an atop belly dragon air. We've also got Persian hanging out there in the bottom, as well as Ekans. Yes! Is the adorable Dragonite. Right? That's a Dragonite? It's totally a Dragonite. <laughs> We've got Pikachu, a new sleep style for Dodrio. I believe that should be my last one. Meowth. And a new sleep style for Kirlia, too. So, yeah. Ending the week with a good chunk of new sleep styles. Only those four. Half new. That's awesome. Okay, let's check them out. Seated, bowing, sleep. Very proper. So that's the one star style. A top belly dragon air. Oh, so only the three star remains, which is always the challenge for me. Trio sleep right, because all three heads are asleep. Usually it's one or the other. And yeah, that does complete the sleep style decks for Dodrio. <laughs> They're kind of bouncing off one another. That's adorable. Wait, that's Ditto? <laughs> I think this is by far one of my favorites out of this uh, the sleep styles available. It's all the way down here at the bottom. So we still got one, two, three to go. So less than half now. <laughs> Goofy smile. <laughs> How did I know that it was going to be something I didn't want to be hungry? Okay. Uh, let's see what I'm working with. Let's check in. 15 more diamonds. I will not look <laughs> bad to that. Um, alright. Well, let's see if maybe I can get lucky. No. 
Maybe second time? There we go. <laughs> Set up for next time, I guess. Yeah, because everything I'm... Everything else I'm really good on. I just decided the dragon hair, the Kyria, that I wanted to, to take home because I hadn't gotten to a friendship rank with them. But... Looks like today is going to be a wash. That's the problem with Evolved Pokemon. They're just that much harder to get a hold of. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll send out the Dragon Candies. Everyone could use some more. But a nice 6,000 XP and 12,000 Dream Shards. That is going to come in very handy in the very near future. Has the store flipped over? Oh, no, nope, still got a couple of hours. Thankfully, I've already cleared out all of the premium exchange. And I could still get... 3 more biscuits. It says tomorrow, at least, as long as I'm getting a good enough sleep score, that'll, that'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> so, end of the week at Master 5, so hitting the goal of Master 3, which is great to see. Final strength of 1,163,561. I decided not to cook dinner. I did get an extra tasty for lunch, which really just kind of helped push me to see. You know what? I feel good. I'm going to just continue to gather ingredients so I can start next week off on the right foot. So Lapis Lakeside gets the full 5%. We now go to 12%. And it is time to pick a research site for next week. Before that, take care, Snorlax. Thanks for a great week of snoozy studies. And I actually did reset the game this time. So I don't know what's causing that to, to happen. I'll try restarting my device next time and see if that has any impact. I don't know if I'm the only one that ever sees that, but... Just how I know that it's the beginning of the week. <laughs> Get some more deja vu. Gains all across the board, which is to be expected. S grade, back on the horse, thankfully. Nice, good, solid week of sleep with a good midpoint. So, no event going on this week. We just have maintenance happening tonight, so here's your reminder for today. Make sure you've got everything squared away before going to bed tonight. Uh, and this will be a night, uh, a week that I'm going to try using watch tracking, smart watch tracking instead of Go++ Plus Plus tracking, and see how things go. I'm still going to record the session using Go++. Plus Plus. I just want to see if that has an impact on how... Pikachu, the sleep hat Pikachu responds if I still get the rewards, even if I'm tracking with a different device. So, we'll see. Uh, but as far as our choices for this week, uh, now with Sleep Style Discovery Week done, <laughs> Lapis Lakeside is no longer the least researched site for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> has taken that lead. Thankfully, I don't need to go visit back there quite yet. 
I'm sure there'll come an opportunity where like, hey, I really want to focus on getting those sleep styles to get that percentage up. Because everyone else is, the other three are in the 80s. So a little bit more time on Lapis Lake side will helpfully get a couple more sleep styles discovered. But I would like to continue getting that area bonus up as much as possible. And then we'll see where things go when we get to Old Gold Power Plant. Now normally this would also be the week where I would use my good camp ticket since it is the last week of the month. Even though technically the month for me ends today. But because I was using it through Suicune Research at the beginning, I'm going to push that until the end and save that for spooky season. And this week we've got desserts and drinks. So it is popcorn on the menu this week. Wonderful. Some more honey to cook with. All right. So, with that, we want to gather from everybody. Thank you, Dedene. Dedene actually coming in quite clutch this last week. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so I actually do need to make some room. So, I'm going to kind of go a little out of order here. And we've got some important news. Okay, let's let's read through this. I response to inappropriate conduct. Thank you for playing Pokemon Sleep. Mm -hmm. This is an announcement about our response to inappropriate conduct within this app. We will be strengthening our response to inappropriate conduct so players can play the game with full peace of mind. Example of inappropriate conduct. Using unauthorized tools or programs to conduct a considerable number of sleep research sessions. Inappropriate conduct, such as the above, conflicts with our terms of use and will be taking message, such as suspending the user's account if it's detected either past or future gameplay. Obtaining a sleep score of 101 points or more in a day via inappropriate operations. Who players who have obtained a lot of rewards via inappropriate conduct, play restrictions may be implemented for several days while we collect fraudulently obtained rewards. We plan to make fixes in a future update. We will be taking measures such as suspending the user's account if the behavior is detected in future gameplay. Please enjoy the app according to the rules laid out in the terms of use. Also, playing this game in other ways than intended may cause problems within the app operation, so please refrain from spreading or encouraging such behavior. To protect the peace of mind of our players, we will periodically observe app use and continually respond to inappropriate conduct within the app. We hope you enjoy continue continue to enjoy Pokemon Sleep. So yes, uh, I'm not sure what this is directly in response to, but play the game via the terms of use. Play nice, everyone's happy. Oof. Those are always scary things to read, so... I'm glad it was just play the game as intended. Moving on. Looks like there's also a medal award. I'll collect that while I'm here. We're reaching Master 5 within Lapis Lakeside for some more handy candy. I do have to make some room in my bag. Yeah. We'll get rid of some honey. We'll come back to here momentarily. Because not everyone on this team will be continuing. Perfect. That's a perfectly acceptable amount. You know what? I'll start the week off. Empty that out for you. Which 
should we? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Yes, so I do have enough for this, the corn scone that I could actually build a team to get that put together, but I don't have the pot space. Yeah, need, need that pot increase to be able to help out. So, explosion popcorn will be the focus, so that's going to be corn, oil, and milk. So let's head into the team editor and build out our team for this week. So corn's already taken care of from beware. Let's beware. Oil, we're going to have to tag in our good friend Toxicroak to get that. And the milk, we can get that from a couple of different sources. So let's take a look-see of who we've got. So, we have Sylveon as well as Blastoise. Uh, because Blastoise does collect a little bit more and is more specialized in the milk gathering, I'm going to leave them on the team. Now, usually oil is a little bit more of the challenge. Just because Toxicroak isn't always consistent with pulling in that oil. There are a couple of other choices that I do have. Oh, we can... I always forget that this is a toggle, and this is always just a good reminder anytime that it's there. This actually then just shows you what has it actually unlocked. So I can throw Wigglytuff on the team to be able to get a healer as well as additional oil. Because there isn't any other favored berry to also kind of supplement, but thankfully between Primate and Beware, both of them are pulling in Favorite Berry. So I think this team should do fairly well at um, getting the ingredients pulled together, as well as being able to get some good berry collection as well. Now it's a little out of order, but let's... Yeah, I would love to. Oh, I don't have enough oil to start with for that. Alright, well, we'll make Jigglypuff's Fruity Plan, since I do have the ingredients put together for that. <laughs> that one's only two ingredients shy, so I'll get through a little bit more of that honey as my additive. And that'll help save my oil to get some more for lunch. Thanks to Dene! Because it's not particularly strong in its leveling because I don't make it all that often. This is also why it's important to level some other dishes. That'll probably be kind of more of a late game. For me, at least, to pull Pokedex in a good spot, Pokemon in a good spot. Let's work on leveling our recipes. Okay. Let's take a look. I did not check this week's missions. So Master 3 is another Ralts Incense. I will be happy to continue getting that to keep trying to get more. And we've got another Use Candies, which is really good to hear. All right. How'd everyone else sleep? 41 reports. All right. That's great to see. Thanks, everyone. Okay, now, since I do have the time, I actually do want to use those candies now. 
So I did have an opportunity to check out what was going on with the last couple of Pokemon picked up. So the Ralts and the Beware. Ralts was a little skewed because of the helping bonus at 86, so it is measuring higher, but that's because it's taking it, the helper bonus as an influence to its score, so... I'd prefer one that's going to have a little bit more of a natural skill trigger than one that's getting inflated because of helping bonus. Our corn beware from yesterday, however, naturally rated at 88. With two sub-skill seeds, taking Ingredient Finder S to M and Helping Speed from S to M. This becomes a 98% matching the one that I've been using up until this point. So this is absolutely worth the time and investment to get that uh, with two sub-skill seeds effectively giving it a 10% boost and making it nearly, nearly perfect. The only real downside is that speed of help down. It's really the only thing stopping it from being fantastic. And, and obviously not having the inventory up M as well to get as many ingredients as possible. Still, this is a, this matches the criteria that I need so I can actually be content with stop trying to uh, recruit Stuffle or Beware got one that I need. So the next thing to do is to just kind of slowly get this up to level 50 because I can't use those sub skill seeds until I've unlocked those skills. But once I get it to 50, then I can use two sub skill seeds to get those two skills unlocked and upgraded. And then I can just fully flip over until I want to give the other beware on the unlock to 60 <laughs> and get it. Uh, also getting eggs if I wanted to do a mix. But I have nearly all of the candies that I need to do that. So, we'll give it a good 10 level boost. So another 20 levels to go, and there's still be a little bit more work to be done there. I got a couple more candies to use. Who else did I want to drop some candy on? Oh, yeah, my good old War Turtle. We're going to get you to 27. We'll get you one level. And <laughs> that's enough candies. Awesome. So, yeah, some. Great news there. That was a great find. I'm very happy with that. Now, granted, one of the other things that... Also, the sooner I get it onto the team, the better. Just because the good sleep ribbons do also come into consideration with these Pokemon. I want to do this by time slot. There we are. Because this Beware has been on the team for quite a while. It's nearly at that 2,000 hours. Very good. The amount of time being spent. Oh, yeah, there we go. So now it's got a little bit of a bigger carry limit, which is good so it can just hold some more berries. And you will be getting the next level up in just a little bit to get a little more carry limits. So worthwhile checking in every now and then with your team members. All 
I just want to make sure there haven't been any other rank ups that I've missed. Pincer, we gotta get you some more time. All right, that covers everyone else, I believe, right? Yeah, you got you got some time. Not only two of them at that full two thousand plus. All right. Mm, that back button update will be nice. All right, so we've set up for success. Tomorrow will be interesting. Uh, I'm going to actually be a little preemptive. And put out a recovery incense just to cover my butt in case uh, I don't get to sleep on time or somehow sleep registration does not work super great. Um, we'll go from there. That is what I have for this morning. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope your sleep discovery week went well. I hope it'll be nice to have a little bit of a nice little break before Old Gold Power Plant drops in just a few days. But at least you've got more or less a, a break week other than the maintenance tonight. And I'll be back tomorrow to see how things worked out, see how sleep tracking went, and hopefully everything works out okay. But until then, sleep well.